How's it going YouTube? So today I'm going to show you um, the easiest way to find your BL Touch Center. So if you put on a new BL Touch like this, you need to find your center location. This is the easiest way to do if you have the same firmware as me. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. So it's really easy. What you do is you have, say in my case, I have a bed that's um, uh, 300 in size by 300 you divide that in half that's 150 right so with that half your bed size you're going to do 150 minus and I'll show you what we minus when we find our location it's easy because you have your X and your Y right here so the first thing you're going to do is home your printer. One moment, one more time, hit the power in the back. So what we want to do now is find the center. So as you can see right here, X and Y, we have 189 and 168. Remember, I told you my bed size is 300, and half of 300 is 150. So we're looking for X 150 and Y 150. So we'll go in here, we'll go to motion, move axis, X, move, and just change that to 150. One millimeter increments, 150. Now I'll move axis, go to Y that 150 Oop, too far now what we have menu, screen 150 150 now our nozzle down there is center so the easiest way to do this is either take some you can take some Play-Doh, some gum, or in my case, I have that sand that you can sculpt. I forget what it's called. This is what my kids had lying around. So basically, I put that under the nozzle. Okay. This is the easiest way to do this. Motion, move axis. I'm going to move your Z. Move nozzle. Move your nozzle a little closer. So move your nozzle just down into the play doh or whatever you have. Then bring the nozzle up. I'll show you what we have. So now, we have an indent of our center location. Pretty cool, right? Now what do we do with that indent? How do we incorporate that to our center mark of our, of our bed? And I'll show you that now. So we'll go here, go to our screen, motion, main menu, configuration, BL touch, and we're going to deploy the BL touch. And what that does is deploys the needle up. So now our BL touch nozzle is down. Then we go back into configuration, main menu, motion, move axis. Let's move that Z down. 
careful with this. So we got our be all attached deployed. We'll move that up a little bit more. Now we'll go back to move access. Y. Y. Over there. Go back to this. Move X. Move X over. Move Z up a little bit more. down a little bit more. It's almost centered. So let's move it back a little bit. Yeah, that's about close enough. Maybe right there. Maybe this one, this one more on the X. Yeah. yeah. Right about right there. We'll go back here. Now that we have that lined up on our center spot where our nozzle made the hole, we're going to main menu and we're going to see here what our numbers are. So now we have 192. 192 and 156. So very easy. I told you. So now on our piece of paper, we have X 192. We have Y at 156. And our bed in half is 150 size. So 150 minus 192 minus 156 equals. So let's get our calculator. Fifty minus one. Get up with a negative forty two and one fifty. Yeah, 
50 minus 6 is 6. So we have 42 and negative 6. So what we're going to do now is in uh, the firmware I compiled on Marlin. You can set your bill touch offsets on here. Otherwise, you'll have to do it um, a different way. Um, so I don't have the, that way to show you at this time. I'll show you just um, how I do it on my firmware. So you just go to configuration, event settings, probe offsets. We're going to change the values. So we're at negative 42. That's pretty close. So we'll go negative 42, 18, and we're at 6. And then I'm going to home the printer. Let's move in the step. And that's it. That's how you find your um, BL Touch center point. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.